Hi, I'm Michaela Smolinski, and I'm in eighth grade, and I go to Emory Wiener. I like to write. I also like to read, and I want to be on the debate team when I'm older. I play soccer, and I like to act. I'm also student body president. I also like to sing, and yes, all of these things make me, me. In my house, it's just my dad and I. My dad is hilarious, kind, and lovable, and I love him for all the things that he's done for me. But like every parent, he wants what's best for me. Parents are here to help, to nurture us, and to help us grow up. Sometimes this helping us involves pushing us to do things that we don't want to do, like Boy Scouts to improve your college record, or sports to get, get a scholarship, or me, to play an instrument because your mom wanted to learn it when she was younger. But sometimes their helping is a lot less helpful. My dad's helping and what is best isn't what I think is what's best for me. When I was six years old, my dad discovered I had the ability to sing. My dad was then positive that I was going to use my talent as my career. My dad wasn't going to let, let me waste time on things like a social life ever get in the way of my talent. My dad believes that my brother could have been an amazing artist if he had started when he was younger, but he didn't. My brother is starting now, and it is hard to try to accomplish a goal like that if you start at an older age. And that is, that is what my dad was trying to get from, do for me. He was getting me to sing at a young age. And I would go to this restaurant, and I would sing karaoke from 9 to 12 every Saturday. And I would sing songs like Rolling Stones and Beatles and the Animals. And to give you an idea... I'm going to sing you a song. I'm, um, it's on my own from Le Miserable, and here you go. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, I walk with him till morning. In the darkness, I feel his arms around me And when I lose my way I close my eyes and he has found me And I chose this song because I think it relates to how I should be on my own through this journey. However, in sixth grade, I stopped singing. I stopped singing and started paying more attention to friends and schoolwork just as my dad had feared. My dad would get angry and ask me why I didn't sing, and I would just say I didn't know. And he said something that made me realize why I didn't sing. I, he said I'm not passionate about it, and he was right. I don't love singing like Katy Perry or Lady Gaga do. I do enjoy singing, but I don't love it. And I'm just am not even sure if it's close to what I want to do when I'm young, older. And I'm not my brother or my dad. My dad, he loved to scuba dive. And my brother, he loved to paint. And they both didn't get to do what they wanted to do because time was wasted. My brother, he loves his talent. And he lives off of art. I don't know if I can say the same thing about singing for me. To me, singing is just a hobby. And I can't waste that much time on something I don't love. So I've told him enough is enough. And singing has come to a halt now. And sometimes people, they look at me and they're like, why are you wasting this unique talent that you have? And I mean, maybe I am wasting this talent. So what? I do so many other things and have so many other talents. And whatever I do, I, in, I end up doing, I want it to be my choice. You will only enjoy your one life if it's the life that you choose. And I haven't made my choices yet. And no one's going to make them for me. And I know that when I do, it will be something I absolutely love. You have to find what you love on your own. When I play soccer, I get this exhilarating feeling of control and how I would want to play every day. And when I write, I'm happy and I get out of hand. <laughs> when I read, I never, can never put a good book down. And I know that I love these things. They make me happy and I want to do them. And maybe I won't be a soccer player, a writer, or a scholar when I grow up, but I know that when, I'm, when I grow up, I have to text, test these waters. You will know that when you're passionate about something. It will always bring you pure happiness. Maybe later I will sing, but not now. I would have to learn to love it first. <laughs>